Aries, welcome to your week. Wow, Aries, coming in strong, huh? First card out, happy birthday, I guess. That's reminding me to wish you. This is your weekly reading. Um, where are I? I just lost my train of focus. <laughs> General reading will not resonate with every single Aries out there. This is also not Sun, Moon, or Venus sign specific. This is for any Aries placement propensity that is relevant to you. Contact information, personal reading information, anything seen in the video will all be on my website. The link for that is in the description box. At the end, we will pull some oracle cards for you just to give you some more guidance for the week. And this is also aimed for the month of April, but time is elusive. Whenever the reading reaches you, that's when you are meant to hear it. Do only take jumpers, so patience is necessary. Jumping right in, Aries, coming in strong. First card out is you, quite, quite beautifully. Very, very much beautifully standing in your power, maybe because it's your birthday season or whatever. Beautiful. Bottom of the deck, though. <laughs> Nine of swords. This could be you. This could be someone you are connected to energetically. You know where you fit. Put yourself in whatever position. But there's definitely someone here that is in their feelings, in their head, in their feelings, caught up. You know, can't sleep, can't eat. Just continuously thinking about a particular situation or just multiple situations. Heavy anxiety card as well. This could be you. I don't think it is, though, with you coming in strong in your energy, but definitely could be. Maybe this is a passing energy or definitely someone in your energy. Yeah, okay. We'll see what that's about. Past position, Emperor Aries energy with the Six of Pentacles. Taking action, taking, you know, standing in your power, whatever situation. You might have a lot going on. Some of you are definitely entrepreneurs, work for yourself, doing very well in whatever position you are you know, in your work career, or that's what you're striving towards, right? Six of Pentacles is a generous energy. It could also be an energy of, uh, like, got having too much mouth to feed or too much responsibilities, right? So, however it applies for you, this could be you, and then you're dealing with someone that kind of has got a lot going on, or you're just in a position to be very generous, right? You're in a position to be very generous, or it is your birthday season, so maybe people are just being very generous to you, right? You got a lot of things planned and you know shining shining very much in your own energy present position knight of swords two of cups knight of swords is air sign energy gemini libra aquarius energy definitely some sort of communication conversation here that is coming straight towards you quite literally right coming right at you somebody wants to talk they have something to say this could be you as well Maybe this is you taking action, standing in your power. You got something to say to somebody. Definitely pertaining to some sort of partnership, some sort of emotional situation. But definitely a situation where whoever it is that's coming towards you or you towards them, it's a mutual connection. Nobody likes one more than the other. You both feel equally the same about each other. Whatever it is you're feeling, they're feeling. This could be what the communication is about. However it goes, you to them, them to you, but definitely something really fast and sort of unexpected here, abrupt. Okay, someone's got something to say. Maybe this person wants to balance the situation out with you. They want to give more of their time, energy, resources, however it applies. Could be whoever's in this Nine of Swords energy, overthinking, can't sleep, can't eat because afraid of missing some sort of opportunity or there was some sort of opportunity that has been missed. Right? Not being very happy with where they are currently, not really being happy with their emotional business, but also not seeing something that was right in front of them, right? Yeah, it could be someone you're defensive over. Yeah, it definitely could be someone that is, you know, stuck. Got some regrets here. Didn't take a chance when they were supposed to. Seeing things very clearly now with this King of Swords. But this could be someone you are defensive over. This could definitely be you standing in your energy. Yeah, whoever this Knight of Swords is representing, there is definitely communication. Could definitely be an air sign or just someone taking on this energy. Very logical, very seeing things very clearly now. Maybe where, when they didn't before, right? Definitely didn't see things clearly before. Some sort of elusive state this person was in, but clarity is in now. And they're about to talk to you about it. You might be defensive. You might not want to deal with this. 
in your future energy, the King of Cups and the King of Pentacles. Lots of masculine energy here. There is no feminine energy on the board. Whether you're female or a male, there's definitely someone in your energy. Maybe multiple people as well. Air sign, I mean, earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, or a water sign. Or this could just be one person that now wants something solid. There definitely is some sort of emotional very deep emotional investment into the situation that maybe wasn't expressed before. King of Cups has a lot of feelings, but rarely expresses them, right? Someone wants something solid now. Someone wants to plant roots. With the Six of Pentacles and the One of the King of Pentacles, we have Seven of Pentacles, which is investments, putting in time, pulling in energy. Maybe this person did not in the past. So now your guard's up, you're standing in your power, you know, but someone's definitely been in there in their feelings about this you know if they're acting like they don't care that's far from the case it's far from the case they're definitely feeling your loss feeling your absence especially if it's your birthday month you shine and you look and you look and you know <laughs> but there definitely is going to be a conversation happening here okay let's get the oracles see what they got to say about it for aries Aries, whoops, fox spirit, thing on your feet. Yeah, this might be unexpected. You might not know what to say once this person talks to you about this. Number 27, which is a nine. Single energy, sufficient energy, catch energy, and the eagle. Number 23, which is a five. Spirit has your back. Okay, this is getting guidance. Someone is being guided. Someone is being guided to do this for Aries. Think on your feet. You might not know what to say once this communication comes in. It comes in so fast. Yeah, someone wants to balance out a situation. <clears throat> but it is someone that you have mutual feelings for. So if this is some toxic-ish, this is not your reading. Whoever this is, you definitely still have... Mutual feelings for this person with this Two of Cups. You know, this is not somebody you hate or don't want. This is someone you have the same feelings for. It. What do we have for Aries? One card for Aries, please. For the month of April, what do they need to know? Aries. Okay, let's move on. We'll come back to that deck. Aries. Somebody's quiet. Balance, spirituality, and practicality. That's what this person's issue was. They didn't understand probably what they were feeling because Two of Cups is very divine as well, right? Someone wasn't ready to feel what was provoked out of this connection. And the balancing had to happen. Pisces energy, full moon energy. Two weeks. Two months. Luck is on your side. New moon in Sagittarius. Let's go back to this guy. Yeah, there's that balancing though. Yeah, someone wants to make it real. It was only emotional before, but it wasn't practical because someone had too much going on. So not that they're seeing things in retrospect, lots of retrospect, tons of retrospect. Now they're trying to bring in the balance because this is very much, this is definitely balancing uh, spirituality with practicality. Emotions are spiritual, right? Someone wants a balance. They want to ground it in the 3D, make it real, do what they got to do, right? Express those emotions. Aries. inner temple devotion tune in <laughs> tune into the portal of your heart very cute very cute aries wishing this for all of you that is your reading beautiful reading uh thumbs me up leave me a comment if it resonates and i will see you all next week